Sorry about that, chaps. The video gave out halfway through. Apparently, my memory card was way too full. So, the question I was going to ask Kristen next was that um, there, there seems to be two different types of histers, uh, hi hipsters in this jolly little world we call Earth. There seem to be the real hipsters that hate being called hipsters, and then the hipsters that are just like, Oh, I'm a hipster everything. I love the hipster stuff. I love dressing like the hipsters. Can you uh, clarify whether that's a myth or a truth, Miss Indy? Well, a lot of it has to do with, like, the the style of the hipsters kind of spread everywhere, and, like, everyone likes it now. Like, Target was selling clothes that were kind of, like, the ones where urban outfitters sort of a, kind of spread everywhere. And, like, the original hipsters would not admit to being hipsters, like that was offensive to be called a hipster, and they get really angry when they're called one, but at the same time, I feel like a lot of them like want to be a hipster, like they're almost trying to be, like I have friends that definitely try to be hipsters, and like they make jokes about hipsters all the time, and like they sort of call themselves one, but the second anyone else calls themselves one, or calls them one, they get like, like, oh I'm not a hipster, they'll be like, eh, you suck. What? Like, oh, all right. Okay. Like, there's like hipsters style and then there's like actual hipsters and those are kind of like two different things. All right, all right. If you say you're a hipster, then you're you're not really at all. It's kind of ironic, and then it's ironic that it's ironic because they love irony. Honestly, <laughs> it's just it's a really weird. So the more triangle shape. Thing. All right. So the more irony, the better for them. Oh yeah. <laughs> all right. That's sarcasm. Sounds thinking they're better than everyone else beat the world because they're fashionable or they're cool because they know things no one else does but a lot of people actually like their bands and stuff which I'm pretty sure is making a lot of the hipsters very angry. That's probably unfortunate. <laughs> I, I can't entirely understand why a band would want to be hated by like the masses though and then loved by like a th like three or four individuals. Well like not necessarily the band is that way. Oh, they might be. It's the hipsters get mad when everyone else finds out about their band, or they're like, I found it first, and like, I can't believe you're listening to my music, stop it. <laughs> well, it is a free country we live in. They want to feel special. Of course so they do. They go out of their way to find some crappy little indie band, and be like, yeah, I discovered them, so I'm more awesome than you. All right, all right. <laughs> so, so it seems like the... When I see the hipsters, when I look at the hipsters in their styles, it just kind of looks like they're uh, little emo boys grown up a little bit older and they've decided to mature their style a little bit. Does that seem to be the case to you? It depends on, like, again, there's like a wide range of like, the actual hipsters. There's the skinny little emo ones, there's the ones that have like the beards and stuff. But they're usually pretty skinny. Like, they're kind of feminine. Alright, alright. And like, a couple of my little hipster buddies, they kill me if I call them that to their face. <laughs> Um, they're like, I don't know, they're always talking about how they want to grow beards, but they're it's like 16, 15, Aww. so they would look terrible, honestly, even if they could. And of like, course. even then, they, like, they can even have like a little bit of like a feminine edge to their voice, like, way more than I do. Like, my friend Jared's like, ah, yeah, oh my god. Like, not <laughs> quite that bad, but like, he has that edge to his voice. It's like, I don't know. A lot of them are more feminine, so I can get the emo things kind of bad. Very interesting indeed. Well, is there anything else that you'd like to add on to what we've already talked about today? I don't, I don't know what else to say. You don't know what else to say? <laughs> well, in that case, I think we will wrap up today's edition of the Kinski Red Show. Um, this being the fourth episode, so thank you all for watching, and we hope to be with you again soon. Have a nice day, and cheers and a jolly weekend.